top-down racing game is a bit of a lost art form. The genre was born in arcades back in the 70s, and over the next decade it would also expand onto consoles before its tires blew out. Which is basically to say, before people started caring more about polygons than fun games. But fortunately, top-down racers are making a resurgence as a kind of retro take on racing games, a trend that is reflected in this game's very self-explanatory name. This is Retro Racing for the iPhone. What's interesting is that, while this may seem like a respectful homage from today's developers to yesterday's, that's not what retro racing is at all. In fact, this game was created by a developer who's been doing top-down racers since the Amiga, which was this, was this computer thing. So because it's inspired by arcade games like Grand Track 10, and developed by a guy who did top-down racers like Nitro for the freaking Amiga, retro racing feels authentic. That's one of the things that really struck me about this game. It doesn't feel like some watered-down modern throwback. This is, this is the real deal. It's like an old-school racer that has somehow ended up in the year 2012. I don't know, this, this car must have had a, a flux capacitor built in. Either that or an onboard Amiga. I, I think that's what they were for, for time travel. But of course, unlike the games that left the tire tracks this one is following in, retro racing benefits from modern technology, specifically the touchscreen of the iPhone. You play retro racing with three on-screen buttons, two steer left and right, and one accelerates. And while some kind of physical input would be preferable, the touch controls work just fine once you get used to them. And obviously that took me some time. The gameplay is very fast, and I was surprised by how smooth and responsive it is. And once you master its controls, retro racing is never hard to actually play, which is a good thing because the game is hard as hell. Not content with simply being retro in design, gameplay, and style, retro racing also has a retro degree of challenge. And frankly, that means I don't stand a f***ing chance. If you're into old school racing games, or even retro games in general, this one is an easy recommendation. You have to learn optimal routes, master every turn, and grab every possible upgrade if you want to win. And while it does require patience, retro racing rewards you with a fantastic old school racing experience. Provided you don't crash into everything. Quick, activate the Amiga! 